Here shows some of the different examples of custom motors. Custom rotary servo motor part numbers are different formats depending on the age and the standard motor it is based upon. Let's take a look at both the standard and the custom motor part numbering. Available on our website is our catalog information and inside of there is the ordering of information. For the MPP and the MPJ series servo motors, this is indicated by the model and then the frame size, the stack link, the winding letter, and then the feedback type, and then the shaft and the connector options. The 1E is the incremental encoder, the 3E is the smart encoder used on the Aries drives. 41 is the resolver, 70 is the absolute multi-turn in-dat hide and hide encoder. The 6S is the multi-turn high-resolution Stegman hyperface Syncos encoder, and the 9S is the single-turn Stegman hyperface absolute encoder. After the feedback is the shaft, the connectors, and the options for either a brake or a no brake or a shaft seal. The custom versions of the MPP and the MPJ are designated by the CMP and the CMJ model series. The frame size in the stack will be the same, and then the winding letter can be the same as the standard, or it can be an X, which is a custom. The feedback type can also be the same as the standard, or X if it's custom, and then followed by a 200,000 series incremental number. The BE series servo motors, the standards are indicated by BE, and then the frame size and then the magnet length so 16 23 and 34 followed by the length the winding letter and then the feedback type the feedback letters are different than the MPP and the MPJ series J is the 2000 line incremental encoder the R is the resolver and the L is the 5000 line encoder option for the shaft options with a flat option a keyway or a round shaft PS is the standard Parker style connector, there's also the low cost LC options. Those have standard cables that will connect to the Compax 3. We also offer the FO and the FL flying lead options, the 10 foot cable option, and the military style connectors. There's also an option for a brake on the 34 frame servo motor. Custom versions of the BE part number are indicated by a CM instead of the BE. The frame size and the length followed by the winding letter and the feedback. Again, if these are custom, they're indicated by an X in these parts of the part number. This is then followed by a five or a six digit number. For the SM series servo motors, the standard is offered in both a, the 16 and the 23 frame size followed by the length. The winding is either A for the standard or the B for the low voltage. E is the 1000 line incremental encoder, R is the resolver, L is the 5000 line encoder, and then the rest of the part numbering is very similar to the BE series, with the exception that there is a GS for the Gemini series. Again, the PS and the LC are the Parker style and the low cost connector options, and those standard cables are offered with the Compax 3. There is a brake option on the 23 frame. Custom version of the SM series motors are indicated by a CM in the part number, and then the winding is either A or B or X if it's custom. Note that the BE series also has a 23 frame and a 16 frame size. The way you would tell the difference based on the part number is by the winding letter. A or B would indicate that's an SM motor, anything else would be a BE. If it's custom, you would actually have to look at the motor or look at the custom motor drawing. The feedback option would either be E or R or L if it's a standard or if it's a custom such as a Heidenheim in that absolute encoder on these smaller motors that would be indicated by an X. It, we would not use a 7D designator on the custom motor because that's used on the MPP and the MPJ series motors. The customs would then be followed by a five or a six digit incremental number. The Neometric series servo motors are an older series servo motors. Those are offered in a 70 and a 34 frame as well as a 92 millimeter. This is very similar in the custom part numbers as the SM and the BE series servo motors. The Max Plus rotary servo motors, which are the older MPM series servo motors, 
The part numbering is shown below. This is a little bit different than the SMBE and the Neometric series servo motors. Note on the termination for the connector, there is option number five, which is the Parker style connectors. Those use the same cables as the PS style connectors for the MPP, the BE, the SM, and the uh, Neometric motors. The model type on the custom Max Plus rotary servo motors is indicated by an MPC. And then after the winding designator is a six digit incremental custom number. Even older custom Max Plus rotary servo motors are indicated with an NPM for the model type, but then a three digit number at the end of the part number. Note that the winding isn't designated on these older numbers. The label on the side of the motor will also indicate the resistance and the inductance in the back EMF. If it's standard, it'll be the same as what's in the motor catalog pages or in the motor manager library files. Other than the older NPM, if it's a non-standard winding, there will be an X where the winding letter should be. If it's a non-standard feedback, it would be an X. Presuming this is a new motor, you should have received the specifications from your Parker Automation Technology Center distributor with the current resistance, inductance, rating speed, etc. If you don't have those, you may contact your ATC. If it's an existing motor with a non-standard winding, if it's a proprietary motor, you'll need to contact the machine builder for those specifications. If you're not sure if it's proprietary or not, you can contact the factory or your local ATC. To contact the Parker North America, you can email emn underscore support at parker.com. For any Parker Europe motors, you can email em-motion at parker.com.